Hey guys, good morning. I got around six hours. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I had trouble sleeping. I think it's because I took coffee before the gym around 5 p.m. I went twice to the gym yesterday because I had to get my cardio in. The reason I was being so strict about it was because I'm gonna be going to Mexico on Saturday, which is like a day from now. And I know I'm really not gonna be working out much over there because we're going for like a, I wanna say like a church event. So I'm not staying in a resort, I'm staying with family. I don't know where's gonna be the nearest gym. And at these church things, like your only concern should be like going to church. I know for sure though, I will be walking a lot. I wouldn't even be surprised if my Fitbit is telling me that I got like 15,000 15, steps or something. So yeah, I wanted to get in my lifting and my cardio like perfect. So I went ahead and Went late to the gym yesterday, aside from going in the morning and doing back and buys. So I took coffee beforehand because I was feeling already tired. So I wake up around five, six-ish every morning. And I couldn't go to sleep till like, I want to say maybe midnight and I was super hungry too. Ruben setting up the BCAAs on the waters. I think I was also super hungry because I went to the gym two times and we went like to the mall beforehand and honestly the whole day even if I didn't necessarily like go out um I was moving around a lot my Fitbit was at like my Fitbit I think hit 10,000 or it hit like 9,500 which would technically be like a f this is my Fitbit by the way so that would technically be like a full day out I was really hungry so at like 11 40 p.m. I was like, Ruben, I can't sleep and I'm so hungry. So I came downstairs and I got a yogurt, <laughs> which was a little unplanned. I got the Dane and Light and Fit yogurt. I'll show them to you guys later. I'll probably have one today. And they kind of have a lot of sugar. So I was like, ugh. But you know, it fit in my macros. I wasn't going into a surplus. It's not like I was like binging or emotional eating. I was legit like hungry. Yesterday, I'll give you guys my macros real quick. This was like a more of a higher calorie day for me as in um, being in a deficit, but this is actually still a deficit number. I just sometimes, well this week I was on a more aggressive deficit. So it was 1,441 calories with 161 grams of carbs. So I had more carbs, which is, I was kind of, that's fine. I wanted to have more carbs yesterday and on late day so that it could help with muscle growth and my protein was at 105 and my fat was at 52 so my fat and my carbs were mm, yeah everything was fine my fat could have been a little bit lower but my fats would have been lower my carbs would have probably been higher so that's fine today i kind of want to do lower carb i kind of want to stay between like 110 110 grams of carbs that's a little lower for me or maybe even like at 100 or lower than 100 and maybe keep my fats a little bit higher. We shall see. I have to arrange my macros. Yeah, my macros right now are 30, 30 carbs, 30 fat, 40 protein, which is my aggressive. Sometimes if I wanna be more lenient, I'll do 35 carbs, which is still pretty decent. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. The other, the other week, the rest of the days I was underneath 1400. So on Tuesday, I was at 1,342 calories. Then I was at 1,331 calories. Then I was at Sunday, I was at 1,393 calories. So Monday, Tuesday, except for Wednesday, I was at 1,300. That's why I said I'm more aggressive. And then the week before that, I was at like two days, I was in my 1,200s, which you guys have to remember, I'm five feet. So don't take my calories and just put them on yourself because if you're like five, five, that, I mean, it's gonna be completely different. So that is that. And always just look up, there's a caloric deficit calculator that will tell you to put in your, your sex, your age, your height, your weight, and it'll tell you an aggressive caloric deficit number, the calories you need to maintain your weight, and then it'll be like a slower weight loss. It'll give you a lot of stuff. Right now, I'm going to take before we leave. Everyone's ready to leave. The Skinny Mint Super Fat Burning Gummies. These are really yummy. 
Um, the macros on these are fine. They're like 15 calories. I just, they're kind of like a little treat for me. And at the same time, they'll kind of just help you a little bit out. These have 400 milligrams of green coffee bean extract, which will basically give you energy. 400 milligrams is kind of pretty good. They're very yummy. I would recommend them. If you're already in a caloric deficit, and if you are already have a workout plan and have your nutrition on point, I would recommend them. If not, don't even bother. Get that sorted out first. And then worry about supplements. All right. Can you get my outfit real quick? I have it to this today. And then these. The camel ones. These are, I don't know what these are. I'll tell you guys later. Ruben got them. A white tank top from a wholesaler, actually. My sports bra, which you guys can't see, but it's really cute. Can I flash them? It's because it's really cute. And this is a Victoria's Secret sports bra. I got it for sale. Like $5. And then my pants. My leggings are really nice. These are from Celestial Bodies. They're so expensive though, and they're just, um, can I see? They're like scrunch booty, but they're not like dramatic scrunch booty like other companies. They're just kind of more subtle. And then they have this waistband, which makes it look like you have a smaller waist because of the way it's. And then my face looks like shit. This hat is from a company called New Odyssey. I'll link them. It has cat hairs on it. But... All right. Put it back. Like, yeah, um, you actually could. You could, right? Yeah. It, it takes, it's like hella long, right? No, same process. Yeah, yeah, but uh, dude, they charge for 27 cents each. Oh, that's actually really good. You think so? These are blank bags? Whose phone case is that? Ruben. He's like, I'm going to take it to Mexico. Who is that? Him? Oh, yeah, it is? Sure. I'm going to try it with an egg. Why don't you use the dishwasher? Wash. We don't know how. Mexicans don't use the dishwasher. Oh, Asians too. Asians too. You know, bro, baby. Oh, we learned it from the show. Uh, uh, the show. They're like, you don't believe in dishwashers. Dude. I was like, hey, that's too. Dude, for the longest time, I really thought it was just to hold the dishes. Ruben. So I could finally talk to you guys. I already went ahead and showered. I even got started on my face. I did my brows, changed, freshened up, and I'm going to have lunch. After um, you guys saw me eat a protein donut, those are from the donut bar. They are an online shop. Those donuts are so good in macros. I believe it's like 20 something carb, less than 30 carb, 11 grams of protein, like a decent amount of sugar, especially for a donut, and barely any fat, so. Had one of those after my workout, and I also had a cheese dipper. The you guys, the Laughing Cow cheese dippers, and that's basically all I've had. I took my supplements. I took my Skinny Mint um, fat burner, and then I took my multivitamin and my probiotic. I'm now going to have lunch. I am hungry. I'm going to have the rest of my Chipotle. Me and Ruben, I think I mentioned you guys we're leaving to Mexico, so this is actually kind of an emptier fridge for us. I don't have that much food. I finished all my chicken, all my salmon the other days. I only have a little bit of veggie pasta left over. I'm probably going to go to the Health Binge, which is this place here in Vegas that has pre-made meals for so that I could buy my meals for today and tomorrow. This is my Chipotle bowl. I'm going to go ahead and reheat it. I had half of it last night. You guys could even see. I just get lettuce, chicken... I got brown rice. Lots of the times I don't do the rice because it is so like dense in carbs. It has a lot of carbs. And I like to like separate my carb intake throughout the day. Well, I'll do like my after workout, my post workout. Yeah, my post workout carbs. Aside from that, I try and kind of separate my carbs. And this is a lot of carbs at once. But it has the protein in here and I'm pretty hungry and I have the space for it. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this up and then probably. Depending on my hunger, if I'm so hungry, I'll probably get pop chips and the holy guacamole. Ruben! The mail got here. Where? The, I saw the mailman. Why oh, yeah, yell, dude? I yelled because I called I you a few phone. times. I have a fucking phone. I told you, whatever I'm going to use a phone. Don't talk to me like that. I'll slap the shit out of you. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this bowl. I believe this is 195 calories just for half of it and a pretty decent amount of everything. I got a water bottle. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to go upstairs, finish my makeup, 
work on some stuff, but I will see you guys very soon. So, I had my Chipotle, I'm so hungry. But because it is pretty low cal, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have a power crunch. These are 200 cows, which is kind of a lot for a bar, but hey. It has 12 grams of fat, and today is a lower carb day for me, so this will work just fine. It has 13 grams of protein and 10 grams of carbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this, and then I'm thinking I probably won't eat till, oh, lashes, till after I get my health binge, and I'll take you guys, I'll record a little bit in health binge, or I'll record what I buy there, because it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so I am in mid-process of doing my face. I wanted to talk about what I did today at the gym. I have a few clips that Ruben filmed. Ruben really doesn't like to film because he likes to really take advantage of his gym time. Ruben likes to play ball, do his thing. And, you know, I don't, like, I don't feel like right to be like, no, you have to film me, you know, like, really pressure him. But I told him, like, hey, I would really appreciate it. He helped me out here. He filmed me doing my front squats with just the bar. I'll go ahead and enter the clip right now. I was doing front squats that me and my trainer have recently started to do. And front squats are good because they alleviate any stress from your back. And they're, it basically incorporates all leg, if that makes sense. So I've been working on those and getting those because I really feel those in my quad. Like I feel it a lot in my quads and in my glutes. And it is one of my goals to build my quads and my glutes. I don't just want to have a booty, but I want to have a lot of quad as well. I think quads look good. I went ahead and just did two sets of 12 with the bar. And right now I'm just doing the bar because as soon as I put weight are more difficult in my opinion than back ones. Unless you have like a fantastic back squat, like I don't think you need to worry about front squats. I just really wanted to try them to see how I would feel it in my legs and I really like it. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the clip of me doing my heaviest squat, which is 130 pounds. Alright, so that was, I did 5 reps of 130 pounds, which that's pretty heavy. That's my heaviest that I could squat. Um... The bar is 40 pounds and I have two 45s. So that's the heaviest that I could squat. And my form was not the greatest. I'm sure you guys saw my form is not perfect. I could not get parallel with 130 pounds. It is my goal to do it. I'm actually pretty proud of myself because to be able to carry that weight and go through pretty much with squat with the movements, I'm proud of myself. Because honestly, when I first started doing squats with the bar, I could barely keep the bar on. Like I could barely have two tens and squat. I know my form isn't perfect or anything. I'm very well aware. I meet with my trainer and he will, sees me squat. He tells me my pointers here and there. He'll push me to squat at my heaviest, not full on sets and sets and sets, but like five reps and then we rest and then I'll go back to like a weight that I could handle over and over again. So after I did that, I did some cardio stuff. I like I did um I guess you could say high volume things. So I did sled pushes, I did sled pulls and I had pretty good weight on there. I know that I don't always need to have a lot of weight on there. I've just gotten used to doing it and I don't necessarily mind it because it is a little bit more it's a little bit more work to go through and I definitely feel that. I did some app stuff like I did planks, um, I worked with the T-bar, I did sled pulls, I did ropes, um, I did the captain's chair where you raise your legs, I did sit up sit-ups, then I did 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. So that was my workout today. And I don't eat like in the morning before I work out. I just have coffee. Granted, I'm not like fasting because it does have calories and stuff. But I don't um I don't have a full meal before I go to the gym. When I do eat before I go to the gym, the days that I do, I do feel like I could lift heavier. I do feel like I could um lift better and I have more stamina throughout my workouts. But I've been able to push myself with my fast like kind of fasted workouts. And I've been doing fine with them and I, I like that because it kinda prevents me from eating too much or too over my calories. I am gonna have Ruben film me more often he already told me that he would be down to do that and then i'll be inserting them here through my phone i know 
that it's not going to be the same as like camera quality and a talk through and whatnot but eventually we will get there little by little i do eventually want to do that just because i think it could be helpful because i'm still in my opinion at a beginner stage i'm not at this expert level you know and one of the things that i'm happy about getting a trainer is that they really get you out of your comfort zone because they're the ones that will walk you around the gym and tell you what to do so get yourself a coach even like they don't have to be the most fancy coach ever you could get someone more affordable whatever you want but i do think you it doesn't even have to be someone you hire you could even just ask maybe a friend who's more experienced in the gym hey like can i tag along with you to the gym and you're, you're probably gonna have to go out of your way to meet them and whatnot but i think that is so worth it because um they could really teach you the ropes three weeks ago i was 126 pounds that time and my body fat was i want to say 26 percent um so i started off like some of you guys know I started my journey to get in shape and become fit in April, April 9th. So it's been just about a month. I started at 148 pounds. I am now 124 pounds. I've been 124 for like the past few days. And I've been weighing, I try and weigh myself like every other day or every day just to, not to like psych myself out, but just to see where my average weight is really at. There's times where I, like if I'm traveling, I'm not going to bring my scale with me. When I'm on my period, I avoid weighing myself because you could gain like five, four, six, seven pounds when you're on your period because of how much water your body's retaining. I know that before I moved to Vegas, I was around 150 pounds in LA. So I want to say that I'm probably from like LA. I want to say around 25 more pounds down what are my goals because i get that question sometimes i want to be at like an 18 to 20 percent body fat so i would like to lose around six to like nine ten more percent body fat um i want to just be really really in shape i want to be able to have stamina i want to be able to have a good Cardio, cardiovascular health i want to be able to lift i want to be able to be strong so that is kind of where i want to be health wise i just want to be healthy I want to be around an 18 20 percent body fat put on muscle build mass that could last me i'm not just trying to lift for a few years and then stop i want to lift continuously because muscle if you don't continue to work out muscle muscle will fade muscle will go bye bye so i do want to lose more weight i do want to get slimmer i feel like that's kind of a question i do want to get slimmer i do want to lose weight i do weigh myself because it is one way you could check progress but i'm at, i'm now more concerned about my body fat percentage good number for me would be i it was 120 so 120 would be a good number you know i am five feet please remember that please remember that our bodies are all different and we all carry fat and weight everything differently sometimes i feel like when i tell people like i'm i want to be 120 or i'm 124 like oh my god that's so small and yeah it's not a lot of weight but for someone who's five feet i could literally be a hundred and five pounds and still be considered in a good way i believe i believe so i have to check online because of how short i am i know my sister she was even 90 pounds she's 4 11 she was anorexic she would eat everything was fine she was even pretty active she would play soccer a lot do i have like a body goal in mind you know i think it's great to look at girls who have really good physiques and have worked on their physiques for a long time but i don't i kind of have wanted to steer away from that i'll look at them and they're fitspo it's inspirational other bodies are banging but i'm i don't have someone that i'm like my body needs to look like that because i'm not that person your body goals person you're not them so no matter how hard you try and be like they're my body goals like they're them and you're your you are you so you should try and embrace yourself and just be the best version of you so i think that's kind of where i'm at i would like to build my glutes i'd like to build my ass more actually add a lot of muscle to it because i do have fat there my fat just naturally goes to my legs and my ass and i would like to also at the same time which i know is very it's gonna be very hard lean out my bottom body so lean out my legs and lean out my butt and add muscle to it which is gonna be hard because i can't really pick where i lose fat from that's kind of where i am at right now
now. Hope that gave you guys a good little breakdown. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup, and I will see you guys later in the day. I'm going to go get my nails done and then go to Health Binge. Finally, taking the camera so you guys will follow me. This is what I'm wearing today. These shades are from the Key Kylie collection. Rima got them for me. So sweet of them. My shirt is from Fashion Nova, so are my shorts. I don't know if you guys can see my shoes, but they are Converse. This is my makeup for the day. I'm wearing the Kylie collection pretty much all over my face, the birthday one. I'm wearing the eyeshadows, the highlight, which you can't see right now, and the lip gloss. Underneath the gloss, I actually put on the color One Wish. We're gonna go to Jack in the Box. I want a Diet Coke. I've been craving it, and I think Ruben is going to get a full-on meal. He does that very often. No, relax. A uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. Thank you. I'm sorry, can I get a Diet Dr. Pepper as well? An extra one? An extra Diet, Diet. Dr. Pepper? I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like Diet Dr. Pepper. This is my first time trying it. I really like Diet Coke. I actually love Coke Zero, but they don't have Coke Zero in a lot of places. At least I don't think they have it here in Jack. This is the medium. The medium. It's actually really good. Thank you. Chemicals. I'm basically drinking chemicals and fake sugar. I'm gonna have like half of it and then probably put the rest in the fridge. So we just got back from, well I got back from Health Binge and getting my nails done and this is what I'm going to eat. This place is expensive, like ugh, I'm kind of having FOMO right now. Not FOMO regrets, but it's pretty good, it gets the job done. This is 160 calories. A whole lot of protein in here, lemon chicken breast. We got like nine meals for $80. That's a lot to me. You can't compare it to fast food because it's not like fast food. You know, it's not gonna be good macro nutrients. Um, it's not gonna fit in your macros. It's not like, it, these are meal meal prep. Meal prep meals that are being resold. I do think it's a little steep. I don't have time to cook a lot this week. I'm just gonna cook chicken, not chicken fish tonight to have that on the side because I like having most of my meals here. I don't want to eat out aside from this even though I have a feeling we are at least once. But yeah, this is what I'm going to eat right now to give you guys a breakdown real quick. This is 160 calories. It has 24 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of fat since today is lower carb. Putting these away, I thought I'd share them with you guys. These most likely, I think these are Rubens, yeah, the bison breakfast street tacos. This is mine. This is the chicken gram masala, the small version. Orlander chicken, 240. I kind of got these for me, but I kind of feel bad now because I think Ruben might want them. These are chicken tacos. So these are mine. I got a dill salmon. I don't know how this has 23 grams of carbs. Oh, it has rice. Um, the chicken, more chicken, and then the chicken tacos. I don't know who's going to eat that. Hey guys, so I am getting a Danon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. These have sugar in them, which make my sugars go over by a good six to eight grams. I don't have a lot of like actual small meals that I could prepare myself. I don't feel like wasting my meals down there. So I'm kind of in pickle. I just finished cleaning. I have to straighten my hair. I have to wash makeup brushes. I think I'm gonna probably not be able to cook till tomorrow. I don't have any like protein that I can make. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have this. This is 12 grams of protein, 80 calories. So it's very low in calories, um, eight grams of carbs. Six of those being sugar. I decided to have half of it and then have a, these things. I don't even know what they're called. It's basically cheese wrapped in salami. I'll go ahead and show them to you guys. So I had about half of this just because when I started eating it, I was like, one, this is making me have my sugars higher. And second, I'd rather have ice cream at night. So I had about half of it. I'm going to save the rest for tomorrow. But I'm going to have one of these. These, it's, it's basically all protein and fat. I'm gonna have one of these instead. Straighten my hair and then at night figure out what the fuck I'm gonna eat. So I have about 200, 300 calories left. I might just end up having fish. My hair has gotten long. It's gone a little long. Um, I don't really take anything specific for it. I do take a multivitamin, not to sound discouraging. I'm sure if you take vitamins, your hair will grow, but I think a lot of it has to do with just my parents grow their hair very, very fast. I think it's genetics. And I want to say it's around 7 p.m. I'm actually a little shook it because I don't have that much to do anymore on my to-do list. And I'm pretty anal about that. If you know me, you know that I have a to-do list. And I'm like, 
what I gotta do now. So, this is the, the fish that I was thinking of cooking. Um, these are founder fillets by the brand Simply Balance. I got these at Target. Ooh, y'all hear that? They're so frozen. I only have two pieces left, so I'm gonna probably thaw them out. They're really low in cows. It's 17 grams of protein for four ounces. I love fish for the fact that it's very healthy and I personally like the taste, but I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for now. Ruben's supposed to come down and eat. I was waiting for him, but I don't see him, so I, I'm at 1,100 calories. Oops, sorry, my titties out. I'm at 1,100 calories right now. I'll go ahead and give you guys an update real quick. I have Aiden, 112 grams of carbs, 83 grams of protein, and 42 grams of fat. So I definitely want to have some type of protein source tonight. I went ahead and made myself a shake because I'm lazy. I'm being really lazy. Ruben still has to come to dishes. I don't know if he thinks he's getting away with that. But he's not. I'm going to go upstairs and bother him to come to dishes. Because I clean the whole kitchen married rant right now. I clean this. I clean the living room. I clean the floors. You see now they're just relaxing on the nice clean floors. Are you enjoying the clean floors? I bet you are. I'm going to have an ice cream. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add that ice cream in my macros. And give you guys my macro summary for today. By the way, my shake. I will go ahead and show you guys what I use right now. So right now with the shake, I am at 1,257 calories for today. My protein went up to 108 grams of protein that I have intake. My carbs that are 114 grams, which is... A lot lower than they were yesterday they were it, they were at 161 and then tuesday i feel like today's friday but it's not tuesday 155 monday 136 so they're slightly lower not by a lot so 114 once i add the ice cream it's gonna go up to like 130 i want to say but yeah my fat's 46 i'm just glad that my my protein went up you're gonna do the dishes. Yeah, why'd you move on? That's not, why'd you do this? I'm just saying, I, yo, you see this clean environment here? <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna have Enlighten. That's 90 calories. I'll probably have around 90 calories of ice cream. Um, 18 grams of carbs, seven grams of protein, 2.5 grams of fat. So let's go ahead and put that in there. My calories have now gone to 1,347, so balanced it out sometimes i'll go into like 1200s that's kind of rare that's only if i'm really really full the last time i was in my 1200s was last wednesday at the end of my day i would be at 1347 which is my aggressive deficit and that puts me at 115 grams of protein 132 grams of carbs and 48 grams of fat for today. This is mine. You got your little tuna over there. Yo, I'm a little jelly. These look bomb. So, we got these at Health Binge. 500 know. calories? God damn. That's not that bad, though. This only has 24 grams of carbs and 45 grams of protein. Is that good? That's really good, actually. I might have those tomorrow as a big meal. Mm. All right. No long day. First game tomorrow, we're going to lose. Say bye. Peace.